Hello and welcome to Monkey Island Special Edition. You also might notice it's incredibly loud. That, that will change, because, you know, I'm going to be playing it in the classic version, which is much quieter than the new updated version, so bear with me on the loudness for a bit. Also bear with me on this incredibly long opening title sequence. Credits go on forever, in my opinion. say that is very nice ocean water down there it's good effect on that right now because I have no idea how well I can be heard because I didn't bother listening to the volume settings when the screen is like this. I bothered checking when uh, it's in its more classic form. But uh, yeah, blah blah credits. I'll do, I'll do a proper intro when they're out of the way. So like I said, I might be, you might not even be able to hear me right now because I just skew the volume so much. can't hear me, I apologize, because I'm just going to repeat this later, but if you can't hear me, then you're in luck. Alright, like these graphics? Yeah, they're great, aren't they? We're never going to see them again. Alrighty. So, now that we're in game proper, first of all, I'm not going to be reading and doing voices. I went down that nightmare with the uh, ghost trick. You can read along for yourself, because you're an educated individual, aren't you? Um... I'm quite a fan of the Monkey Island series. I admit I've never played the third one, but I've played I've played part of the fifth one. All the other ones I've played and beaten. Um, more like a floor inspector. If you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. The only voice I'm going to be doing is my own for Guybrush, because there's no way I'm going to be able to impersonate the guy who does do it. He's fucking fantastic. But, um... Yeah, the only voice I'll be doing is, Oh, yes, that's interesting. Where'd you say the pirate leaders were? The scumba. Meh. Right. Thank you. So, I quite like the Monkey Island franchise. Part one, the three trials. <gasps> How many trials are there? One or three. I can't tell. It's one of those numbers on screen. It's not two. We can rule out two. Anyways, um... Govmarl. Sure, we'll look at the poster. Why not? Re-elect Governor Marley. Hmm. There's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Uh, I think they referenced that in a future game. But, um... Hello, Moon, up there. Yay, cursor. I think this is the first game where you can see a cursor that you're supposed to see. Um... There's not a lot of music and sound effects in this game, which is why I was... Eh, yeah, smiley face. Which... You know, if I page up... Ah, it's not there. That's a bummer. Also, the town looks more crowded, and... It, no offense to the guys who worked on this. You did a great job updating it, but... Eh, I, I prefer the pixel version. It seems more... Loving? I don't know. Like, this is great and all. This is great. I'm not scoffing at this. You did fantastic work here. I just like this better. I don't know why. Childhood nostalgia? Who knows? answers probably but um yes i will be recording this because i actually know this game pretty well uh not so much the other games but uh is this the one i talked to ah yes oh what you're looking at fuck uh shh. looking for the dartboard i know there's an ad for loom in here somewhere and i kind of want to run into that um, the point is I'll be playing this game, and if you like it and want me to play the rest of the Monkey Island games, I will certainly do that. If you don't like it and say that was lame, you shouldn't do another one, then this will be the only Monkey Island game on my channel. Uh, looking for the dartboard. Now the dartboard, you say? We don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Ah, uh, speaking of which, darts and drinking don't mix. Eh, uh, fair enough. What happened to your eye? dartboard accident. I was putting in a contact lens when... Wait a second. That's none of your business. 
Where can I get a drink? I want the ad for Loom. You could wait for the cook to notice you, but that could take all day. Just find a mug and sneak into the kitchen. That's what we all do. Hmm. Sounds like a terrible cook. Sorry to bother you. Right. I can swear. Ahoy there, stranger. New in town. Like, look at the artwork here. They clearly, like, did everything they could to make that look like a dude. And it really does look like a dude. Like, obviously not a great drawing of a dude, because it's clearly a drawing. But that's still, you know, for 1980, whenever this came out. 89, maybe? Might have been 1990. Um, that's a great dude. That's what we get now. And it's just... I don't know. It seems like... This, this is honest, you can see the hairs here in this guy's beard. Now it connects with his head of hair and it's unruly. It's just like, I don't know. You know, it's, I'm not gonna harp on it too much because they, again, they did a great job and I fully respect them, but uh, there's one major bit I wanna point out uh, much later in the game here. But uh, other than that, yeah, I, I just wanna see the Lou mad. I know I'm not supposed to talk to these guys, well. Not supposed to is the wrong word. I don't have to talk to these guys. That's the stupidest name I ever heard. Well, funny story about how they got that. Kind of like Guybrush. But that's not even a name. Well, what's your name? Yeah. My name's Mangome Seepgood. <laughs> funny that. I want to be a pirate. Oh, really? No, O'Reilly, my brother. You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. Ah, fair enough. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Oh, thank you. Uh, he's talking to you. God, where's the loom ad? That makes me laugh every time I read it. Have fun on Melee Island. Uh, these guys? I don't think it's wise to talk to one about him. What about him? No, it spoke to him already. God, try this guy. <laughs> Boy, you know. If I'd come to this guy first, I could have saved us all a bit of time, couldn't I? What happens if I, uh... Hmm, alright then. Still, though, so tell me about Loom. Which I have played. It's a fine game. You mean the latest masterpiece of the fancy storytelling ep from LucasArts' Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with interface of magic. Advertisement. <laughs> Stunning high-resolution 3D landscape? No, it isn't. Sophisticated score and musical effects? I'll give it that, yeah. Not to mention detailed animation and special effects? True. Elegant point-and-click controls of characters, magic, objects, and magical spells? Yeah, alright. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. I... jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but some topics I just get carried away. Yeah, know how you feel. If this were me, that that would say Okaje. Nice talking to you. Bye. Well, oh gee, which one's the loom pirate? I wonder. Could be anyone. Anyways, let's talk to these important looking pirate types here. What you be wanting, boy? I mean to kill you all. Get lost, you bother us. Yeah, alright. Ballsy response. Uh, I want to be a fireman. I want to be a pirate. So, why bother us? Hey, don't forget, we're short on help because of the whole Chuck thing. Oh yeah, exposition. So? So no pirates means no swag, no smag means no grog, and we're getting seriously slow on grog. Also, I said smag. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, yeah, alright, that's pretty impressive. Alright, but don't become a pirate just by asking. Become a pirate by telling. You have to go through the three trials. What three trials are those? Well, I'm glad you asked. Three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword. The art of thievery. 
And the quest. The what? The treasure hunt. Yes, sea urchin. Right, yeah, alright, that makes sense. You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and treasure huntery. And return with proof that you've done it. And you must drink grog with us. Huh. Sounds like a good time. Right, well, I'll just be running along now, then. Actually, there's a question I wanted to ask them real quick. Leave us to our grog. Come back and tell us how you're doing. Yeah, you have to check with them every time you, uh... It isn't the boy who wants to be... I didn't leave. How do you fare on your quests? I haven't left. What's in that grog stuff, anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene. Propocyl glycol. Artificial sweeteners. Huh. Sulfuric acid. Rum. Acetone. Red dye number two. Scum. Axle grease. Battery acid. And or pepperoni. And you can probably imagine it's one of the most caustic, violent substances known to man. The stuff eats right through these mugs and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. Should you really be drinking that then? I don't think you ever get to drink a grog in any of the games. I know there's a joke in the fourth one where, uh... You don't have grog, but, uh... You go back to the scum bar and the, they have bar pretzels as well. And they're like kudu jerky or voodoo jerky. I'm waiting for the cook to come out of the door, by the way. Um, and it's like, oh, that, that fellow over there has got to the last container, Arr. And uh, it's like, well, can't you just give me some without the container? And he's like, you really don't want to hold these in your bare hands. And it's like, ugh. Fucking where is this guy? Do I have to sit still, maybe? Or do I have to actually try and open the door? Hey, you can't come back here. Well, then fucking leave so I can. And in I go. Fantastic. I think we have ample time, actually. So I need the hunk of meat. This pot. And I have to actually use the hunk of meat with the pot of stew. Actually, I don't use that yet. It is it the Pillsbury Doughboy? I've always bothered me. Anyways. Well, I should pick up that fish. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Well then, let's just... Do that. Fuck off, bird. That fucking took me forever to figure out as a kid. Because why would I walk over there? There's clearly nothing there. And I think actually in the enhanced version, quote unquote, it looks a little... It's like a bit more obvious that, uh... You know, that's a discard board. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate Lechak ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain Lechuk, sir, I ah, uh, there's nothing like hot wind of hell blowing in your face, yarg. No, sir, nothing like it. Ah, uh, sir, I, it's days like this that makes you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir, glad to be dead. You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murder me and everyone on board. Yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. I love the sense of humor in this game. And most of the games. I think it kind of waned towards game 4 and 5. Can't say much about 3 because I haven't played it. I played like the first 10 minutes of it, but uh... We kind of had it on a computer that uh, didn't run it terribly well, and it sort of crashed after that. He's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I brought it up, really. Fair enough, yeah. I'll take care of myself. Wait. 
I'll handle this personally. Arr. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. If they were messed up by professionals, that's something different, but for the most part. Yeah, so with that uh, with that board bit, it, uh, it highlights a couple puzzles that I think aren't that great in this game, that are pretty rough. So, yeah, as you can see, don't mess with my rat. I have the same voice as Chuck for some reason. So yeah, this screen is like completely silent. Well, except for the sound of a door, apparently. But, um, ah, uh, like what I was going to say, men of low moral fiber, pirates. Um, one of the funniest jokes, and I think they actually reoccur in the second game, uh, happens with these guys, but at the same time, uh, I don't think it's necessary to do this. Uh, say, are you guys pirates? No, we're a wandering circus troupe. But this rat scared away the elephant. Shut up! Of course we're pirates. You can't buy clothes like these off the rack. I bet you can, actually. Depends on which rack you look at. What do you want? Uh, how come we're in our street quarter? Not on a ship looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing. Well, pirate hasn't pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. Uh, there's some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. I know I immediately said. Did someone appear in that window up there? We've been pursuing alternate means of self-support. I know I said I wouldn't be reading these in silly voices, so I'm not using silly voices much. I'm just reading them. Because there's nothing else to do right now. I also didn't read what they were saying. Now you've depressed us. Go home. Well, I'm going to keep talking to this. Uh, do you know where I can find a treasure map? I think this is the bit. Want to buy a map, eh? Our maps are top quality, not like the Burge Gage liners you get from the clown across the street. We know you can hear us. No, just kidding. These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Mealy Island PTA. Can't even give them away. One, one. I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. Yep. I'll just be running along now. They... Literally had to pay me to take it from them. And I got two pieces of eight. I have two pieces of eight. Um. Alright, I need to head in here. Although, interestingly, it's completely unnecessary to speak to the person in here. Whoops. Hmm. I think we just need this. Hmm. Rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Maybe no one will just miss this one thing. Yeah, if you walk over here, it's a voodoo lady. May I help you with... What may I help you with, son? Uh... Neat place. I can tell you grow tired. Go, please. Yeah, so, despite being a main staple of the Monkey Island games, she is actually not at all necessary to speak to or even see in this game. She's necessary in... Certainly... I think she's definitely necessary in 3, 4, and 5. Um, psst. Yeah, there's someone in the alleyway who wants to speak to me. Can I do anything in here yet? Mm, no, no, not yet. <laughs> Bye. I also don't think I need to go down that alleyway. So, fuck it. <laughs> That's the church, so screw that nonsense. I don't see anything special about it. Do I even need to go here yet? Maybe. But we're going to ignore it for now. Because there's other places to go. By diggity. Alright. I think a pro tip is to, uh, if you want to get around a bit quicker, I'll just all right, it's this door. You can just hop into this door. And it puts you... God damn it. 
Is it this door? Nope, it's one of these. Is it this one? It's got to be this one. It's the only one I haven't tried. There it is. Boy, see how much quicker that was? I knew it was one of the doors. Something I will say about the uh, future Monkey Island games is that they make it a bit easier to get to the map screen, which uh, we have yet to experience. The classic Monkey Island map screen. It is certainly easier to get to. Because I have to walk that way every time. Anyways, let's head to the clearing before we end the episode. Get a nice little, uh, little end for it. I think that's the clearing I need to head to. Yep, that is most certainly the clearing I need to head to. A circus tent. I love the circus. I'd get in the cannon, but gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can't do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Thop. Weasel. Weavile. Miscreant. Toady. Ne'er do well. Scofflaw. Mullet head. Mullet head. Millet head. Millet head. Pencil head. <laughs> Half head. Hmm. Cheese head. He's a Packers fan? Harpy. What? Just get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. <laughs> no, you get in the cannon. Anyways, I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Say so, there, son. A once in a lifetime chance to perform an amazing feat. A death defying feat. Well, not so death defying. A dangerous feat. No, not a dangerous at all. An easy feat. Yeah, but exciting. With the amazing, adventurous, acrobatic, and exceedingly well known, fabulous, flying Fatucci brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Fucking <laughs> Bill. Bill and Alfredo Fatucci. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is get in the cannon and we'll shoot you out of it across the room quite safe actually so what do you say how much will you pay me cuz I need some money how about 478 pieces of eight it's oddly specific but okay sounds good have you got a helmet you bet I do of course I have a helmet what sort of idiot do you take me for Well, let's have it then. We want to be sure that it's safe. We wouldn't want you to hurt. No siree. Well then, I just give them this here pot? Ah, that will work as a helmet. Yes, indeed. Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, son. Now put on your helmet. And get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo, echo. Well, I'm so glad I wore a helmet. It works. I'm so relieved. Hey, are you okay? Um, I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? Where's my helmet? He's all right, ladies and gentlemen. Hooray! We're spared on embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here's your money, sir. Just recompense for aiding us. He needs to change the aim. We need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me. No, me. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Fop. Sounds like me and Fal. Anyways, we now have 480 pieces of eight. How much more or less specific than 478. But that'll be it for me. We come back next time. More of this. Thank you so much for watching. I have a token lead. Let me know if you want to see the rest of the Monkey Island games. Because I'm more than willing to play them. But uh, I'm playing this one just because I happen to know it the best. So until then, 
talk to you later, shrewd negotiators, and see you around, ass clowns. <laughs>